At the time I was at the Art Institute and I went home for holiday break or something and in my grandfather's yard he had built his own goose decoys and they were really rough. The bodies of his first geese were squared off timbers with corrugated plastic necks and a piece of wood jammed in in the opening for a, a head on, on just metal rods in his yard and I was like, what? are those and he was like those are my goose decoys they were very primitive super 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 cool so it, his thing kind of grew and at the time i was sort of searching for my own thing and i was like i'm actually going to take what he started and extend it into my neighborhood when i lived on the south side and at the time i i knew i needed to respond to the derelict appearance of the neighborhood there were a lot of boarded up buildings there were a lot of storefronts that just had plywood doors and windows so i wanted to draw attention to those opportunities and and give them a little a little kiss so to speak so i i reached for his shape like i I took his shape and I, I drew its shadow on a piece of cardboard and I went around and stenciled uh, that goose shape on very selective sites that needed a little charm. I, I knew that I had the urge to do more than just decorate my neighborhood and not just draw attention to the neglected landmarks. I didn't like the aspect of defacing public property. I knew that that was crossing into a different a different place, but I felt that my community needed a spark, a, a highlight, something to say, there's something here, there's a pulse here that's important, and there's a voice here. With a period of time, other folks who didn't really even know me started to identify with those shapes as meaningful and important, and it resonated with people for whatever reasons. Pittsburgh has obviously been going through this big transformation and they made a good decision to kind of hold on to the character. There, there's a real risk right now to the city losing the character and, and the history that, that it's had and people are starting to be aware of that and don't want to wash everything off and turn it into a shiny new place again. It's really important to recognize the quirky character and the working class spirit that we all have. We all know where we come from, but if we erase it all in, and just create new veneers over everything that doesn't reflect back on the people who actually lived and experienced their time that helped that progress occur, then we're doing a disservice to the next generation. It forms a base and it forms a relative responsibility for all of us to support each other and to support especially young people and creative ideas.